Welcome Aquarius, y'all. I'm back with another reading. So, of course, guys, this is a general read. It may or may not resonate with you. However, if it does happen to resonate, all the better. So, this is for someone rising Venus. Whatever you have Aquarius in your chart, you can utilize this video. Okay. Give me a message for Aquarius, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, Aquarius. I feel like you have gotten the commitment that you want or is really really close i feel like a lot of y'all feel like y'all got y'all divine masculine divine feminine on lock okay mate it ain't going nowhere it ain't going nowhere they ain't going nowhere like a lot of y'all have already gotten the commitment that you want okay you done received your masculine okay and that's just that like you feel like you got this this man or this woman on lock like it is what it is they ain't going nowhere they could have had they could have been dealing with uh, a karmic i just saw this energy in virgos virgos reading so some of you could be dealing with virgo or if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, you can go look at the Virgo reading as well. But it's kind of giving me that same energy. We got a karmic partner and family. Okay, so this person could have like a child elsewhere um, with another person. Um, but this person like to play victim. Okay, like this person like always trying to play the victim role. So maybe you and... Um, your person could have went on a break, could have put a, you know, put a little pause somewhere, or they put a pause on this, uh, this person. I'm getting like they is somebody that they used to date that it may, maybe they have children with. Okay, um, it looks like divine masculine has purged from this situation. They had to put, a, put pump the brakes on certain things when dealing with this karmic. I feel like they learned their lessons, and they're taking action. Okay, they're taking action. You know, we're going to talk more about this karmic partner as well. Now we got Observer. You could be you could be spying or someone spying on you. Somebody admires you. No, this is the karmic spying on you you're doing something that they admire they're taking notes from you look you told this person they stay concentrating so hard on you you ain't do nothing this person got free will they do what they want okay you ain't have to do nothing you ain't have to do none of that you ain't have to do too much this karmic is sitting up here observing you they're trying to figure out how you got them to commit what did you do to get them to do this? Yeah, you and this person, y'all are definitely like, y'all on a fresh start. Y'all on a fresh start. Y'all are, I feel like at one point in time, there was there was maybe a little trouble in paradise, okay? Um, we got destruction here, but it looks like it was resolved. It looks like the scales are now more balanced. Um, so I feel like maybe it could have been in, in regards to communication. Like, the communication could have been imbalanced. Okay, now let's talk about this karmic. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this karmic partner. Tell me more. What's going on with the karmic? I told you. I feel like they have a child together. We got inner child. Maybe this is their baby mother or baby father. Take it how it resonates. Um, but see, we got barrier and cycle. So there was just some type of cycle that was going on that it looks like 
has now has been put to a stop. Okay. You may have stopped them from falling for uh, baby mama, baby daddy, little tricks. Okay. Um, it looks like it looks like there is some type of agreement. Okay. It looks like an agreement was made. Okay. We got fall, summer, and compromise. So it looks like there's some type of agreement where they're like, okay, um, holidays, you know, Thanksgiving and uh, the summer, I will get the child or we, we, I'm getting like there's some type of compromise. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it looks like there was a compromise here because a child uh, is involved and it looks like it was settled because we got settling. It looked like it was settled. So now there's a new direction. Now I see the offer was made. We got offer here. An offer was made. This person like to play victim all the time. Though. Like this person like to play that victim role. So I feel like this is karmic finally. Let's observe it here. Pride and ego. They looking at how you got them to surrender because the, when they were with them they was all about their ego yeah how did you get them to surrender and be a family man and be this family person get them to be so devoted and see like this is your energy divine feminine I feel like this person got free will they, they decided on their own that they wanted to reinvent themselves I don't feel like you had to do too much. They just, they made a decision on their own. They made their own decision to do that. I feel like, yeah, the conclusion, they can, they ended this situation with this karmic. But the karmic's still sitting over here watching. I'm going to say that they're a karmic, but I feel like it's a baby mother or a baby father. Take a high resonate. They sitting over here spying on you. And I tell you, that with their energy, it keeps showing up as victim, deception. Like, they they just giving me, like, they like to play the victim role. They like to always play the victim yeah see you you um you got out of that you're trying to purge from it you're trying to take a new direction because you feel like um maybe the situation wasn't moving forward it wasn't making no progress it definitely wasn't like benefiting you in any way, shape, or form. Um, and I feel like the focus, there, there needed to be a refocus. There needed to be a shift. So you decided to purge. You decided to purge. Try to find a way to uplift or, you know, to try to, to make the situation a lot better, a lot easier. A lot more graceful, like being done gracefully, not, you know, being all messy with it. I feel like, and also, some of y'all may feel like it's not your place to really be, you know, God, because I'm getting mute. Like, somebody's on mute. Somebody's not saying too much. Somebody's not saying too much. Ever since this new direction, ever since y'all took this new direction, it's like this karmic not saying too much. They're not saying a lot because they over here spying. <laughs> yeah. The, the, I'm telling you, they're trying to figure out how did you, how to, how did you get Divine Masculine to focus on you? And they are left stuck with that.
They over here thinking about. <laughs> they over here thinking. They contemplating. Uh, they upset too. Because there's a lesson in this for them as well. Yeah, they feel abandoned. <laughs> they feel abandoned and alone. <laughs> they feel abandoned and alone. They're upset because the focus is not on them. This person wanted the family life with the Divine Masculine. And Divine Masculine gave that to you. <laughs> and they're in, they're, they feel abandoned. But that's not your, I feel like that's not your, you know. I don't know what they're trying to watch you for. about this situation. All right, so Knight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. There's a lot of back and forth going on. It's like somebody seems like they're stressed out when they come over. And when they leave, yeah, here's the divine masculine. When they leave, they hope, okay, this is karmic energy. Just hoping that he comes back, okay. They try to start arguments with the masculine. I see a lot of disagreements, a lot of arguing, a lot of disappointment. This person is so bitter. I'm getting bitter. Mad at me, mad at my nigga. Mad at the fact he ain't with you. But this shit figure that me and you alone. So why you putting on? But the shade room and insta. Bitch, they be looking for attention. Bit a baby mama. Y'all know what it is. Look up Summer Walker. Bitter baby mama. Bitter. I think it's called bitter. Or bitter baby mama. That's the energy that I'm getting. This person is upset because they aren't getting the money. They mad because they aren't in uh, this. They're no longer in the connection. And they got a child. I'm getting a daughter. Not a source could be a son, whatever. I'm getting that there could be children or a child involved, and they are not happy. They pissed because they feel alone. Like hmm. they've been waiting on you to waiting on the masculine to apologize. They still are in love with, with the masculine. Yeah, they feel like you stole the masculine. <laughs> yes, this when I tell you this person mad as hell, they mad as hell. Okay, they mad. They feel like they should come first. I'm getting two kids. Could be two two kids. They're spying for sure, for sure. They're trying to figure out. Um, they're trying to get some information.
They're trying to figure out, okay, they're trying to figure out as well, like, are you stable? What's your money looking like? Because we got Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, like, it's like, they feel like you showing off, like you bragging, like you coming off like, them, I'm sorry, not you, but masculine. They feel like masculine is coming off like he's bragging. They pissed. They are still holding on to the past. Okay. They are crazy, obsessed, and they toxic as hell. They crazy about this masculine. They have not yet to get over it. They think that they could change masculine's mind. Um, because masculine maybe have came to them and said something about them being a little stressed about something. Um, and they taking that and running with it. They taking that and running with it. So this, this, uh, karmic, they like, they feel like they should come first. And I feel like it's because they have a child or children with masculine. Okay. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below and I'm going to chat with y'all later. All right. Ciao.